Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What the fuck? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. And what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not going to find a chest full of gold at any of these places. So some kind of hitman who wants, who likes to be the best. All right, let's see where this takes me. First things first, uh, change of clothes. Uh, let's go... What do we got? Ooh, Sam raid me. There we go. I think I'm close to another crime scene. Hmm, mystery person's calling card. I can't think of any kind of villain that does this, though. Another police report. And another audio recorder. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. But tell me a little bit more about your job. Can I, uh, can I start webs... Oh, God, they don't day. appear. That's annoying. Mm -hmm. Typical day. I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon. And dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Get quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Alrighty then, well. Ooh, there's quite a few in the area too. Nice. And they're pretty short too, so we can just go grab all of them if we want. Hey Peter, just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say, you help someone, you help everyone. Yeah, but I never really understood what she meant. Okay, you know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah, after she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to this shelter. So we helped her and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this. So stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Oh, here we go. I was like, I don't see where this one is. Another crime report. Let's hear what the recorder yep. has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically.
technically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. So then who's the person leaving the tape recorders? That's the biggest question. I'm kind of hoping this goes somewhere and leads to like a uh, supervillain or something or some kind of name. And the sad part is, even if they give me a name, I probably won't recognize it. Maybe the duck's crazy. I don't know. Maybe they both are. Better take a closer look. Lots of ah. police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever is doing this must have access to this stuff. Whoever left these wanted me to look closer at these accidents. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident, but was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Oh, joy. I'm oh. ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Why is she <laughs> Sounds about me, every. On me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. I mean, yeah, probably. Logic takes the fun out of everything. Ah. Is this just... This this dude get hang, hung, this whatever? This is suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Now we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. Is that going to be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. It's probably Yuri. You want to take bets? Yuri's the one who left these? Right, there's nothing in those ones. Uh, Work our way up here just because I'm already here, but we'll just... I guess just fast travel here. Be quicker than trying to swing through the city, and it'll get me closer to them. Yeah, don't worry, I'm just a uh, I'm just a really good cosplayer. Alright. This is 
is it, folks? This is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove, once and for all, that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. And finally, finally, one brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. We have clear photos of Spider-Man standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Simcaria. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. If I've learned one thing in my years as a world-renowned reporter, it's this. Photos don't lie. Spider-Man has been caught red-handed. No pun intended, puns are for whips. So what do we do about it, you ask? We wait. We wait for the police to finally wake up and arrest this mass lunatic. At long last, this city is going to finally see that Jameson has been right about Spider-Man this entire time. Not only is he a thief, he's actually stealing vital food and medicine from innocent civilians who are trapped in a war zone. Women and children struggling to survive, hiding each day from a hail of mortars and bullets. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is stealing the very aid that might keep them alive. This is a new low, people. Even I could never have suspected Spider-Man of something this despicable. All we can do now as a city is to sit back and quietly reflect on just how right J. Jonah Jameson really was. Yet again. Right. Well, there they are. Where is the connecting point? I oh, I'm standing on it. Saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got it. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get it. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. Yeah, what gave it away? The fact that he admitted in the first tape? I mean, pretty strong fucking evidence there, Spidey. Just saying. It's gonna take a rocket scientist to figure that out. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. On the last one, Yuri sounded frustrated. Idea. That's it. Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but when is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does next day. Oh no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. I will certainly be sure to do that as soon as I take out these thugs. Oh crap. There we go. 
go. All right, there we go. And now head off for the last two. There are more of these. I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. Spider-Man, over here! Attention units, Maji are attempting to seize a shipment of Sable gear. Need immediate response. Another report and recorder. I almost don't want to listen. I do! The hell? Oh, it's on the... Oh, come on, swing back around. I think there was a hit and run here recently. The victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, police never found a suspect. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a liar? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? When we catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer, he gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. All units advised. Yeah. Rogue APCs are terrorizing the streets. Yeah, I'll do that later. <laughs> it's like, I don't really feel like doing this, doing the uh, actual like city missions. I'm gonna go take care of this. This sounds far more interesting. Also, because we're this is the last one. This is it. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Where's the file? I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Dad. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Listen to that. Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! <sighs> She's gone. Well. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. I was gonna say it's a little, little less that she's hurting, a little more she's, uh, she's gone off the deep end. She's going a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs. If I have to give my medical opinion. A shipment of stable equipment is under attack by Magia. Please converge on Tenderloin. Uh, I'm busy. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna do it off screen.
this one may actually go over uh, three hours long. Wait, what? Yuri, what did you do? Well, it's the Magia Enforcer, dead, and the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri. I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time, but there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do. And I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead. She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. Well. That went places I wasn't expecting to go. At least we got a resolution with uh, Yuri. Though I kind of wish it had been more face-to-face, -face, but, uh, you know, 